Let's talk about spoiler. We know he's all right. He's sitting at the bar. <laughs> but he might just be acting. They're saying Ken must be alive. Does he live? Uh, touch and go. He's in intensive care, which is very good for not having to learn your lines. But he uh, <laughs> does pull through, yes. Hurrah! The nation rejoices. <laughs> we are here live from the Rovers with Bill Roach, who I'm happy to say will be alive and well and filming lots more scenes. But the scenes that are coming up is where we find out that it will actually be an attempted murder on our Ken. And this shifty lot are the top <laughs> suspects who could have done it. Um, let's start with you, Bill, though, because there are a lot of people that could potentially have shifted. I've been getting up the nose of pretty well everybody in my <laughs> environment. I used to be the great peacemaker with Deirdre and Blanche and all that, but now, with the new dynamic and all these great males in my family, I'm loving it. But, yeah, I'm, he's got a new aggressive Ken here. See, mild-mannered Ken turns... No more. And he turned on a lot of people. Let's start with, well, I was going to say his own daughter, but, of course, this is, this is possibly part of the problem with Tracy Barlow. First of all, Kate, do you, do you think Tracy could have done it? Well, she definitely could have done it, but did she do it? <laughs> well, she had this motive, didn't she? Because we had heard him, and I got a little bit cross at this exchange as well, when you were saying that you'd possibly had a wasted life with Deirdre. <sighs> Mm. He did no, say some pretty he, upsetting he, things. You could have gone off with her on the barge. I, I know what it's he, like. I don't think he meant that. <laughs> I don't he, think... he loved Deirdre, but he always had these dreams of being a great writer. He, his own, he let himself down. He, not Deirdre. But, of course, Tracy overheard she did. some of this. And she has, of course, got form with Charlie Stubbs. She's got form for violence. <laughs> but not whether much. it was her, I'm not going to say. I like this. Keeping it <laughs> secret. Keeping it secret. Um, but... Uh, now, let's come on to one of the other suspects here. His, his, his son as well here, another son here, uh, Peter Barlow, Chris. Um, of course, it was a stalker, Mad Chloe, went and had a conversation with Ken and Ken believed everything she had to say, mm. which wrecked his life, didn't it? Yes, so, it, it, I, I mean, you know, the thing is that I don't know genuinely, we, we don't know... Who did it? So is that true? Are you all acting now? No, no, or do you genuinely no, don't know? genuinely don't know. Genuinely it could be. Nobody. It could be any one of us. So we don't know. Uh, so Peter, yes, there's there's a possibility he could have done it. He was furious at Ken. And he's been chipping away at him for a while, and in a moment of anger, it could have happened. Not that he he would have intentionally went to murder him, but because of the struggle and the the, the anger, it's the possible. Blood on his hands, and the blood on his yeah. hand, yeah. it's possible. So. Uh, do you know what? He was right there, bigamist, alcoholic. You yeah. could see not wanting him to buy the bar. Oh, I can see his point. I can see his point. <laughs> see his point of view. Yeah, but it could, of course, be you. But one of our main suspects has to, of course, be evil feeling here. Now then, so your Barney is, is over the fact he criticised your kitchen fitting skills. <laughs> can you believe it? Be smirching my <laughs> reputation. And it doesn't take much, does it, to set Pat off? Well, he, of course, has got form as well. I mean, he there's has. Paul Michael, who he, he left has. to die, and then Andy, who he brutally murdered as well. I mean, he's not the nicest of men. That's true. But he's always been good at hiding in plain sight, isn't he? And I think viewers might forget he's been paid in advance of this job. Oh. And he got a bit of a tiz on, didn't he? So he could be very well just too obvious, but, you know... He was stood it could over be the absent. body. You he know, was stood he over can the take body. the hump very easily, Pat, so he's a definite possible. Shifty. For shifty. sure. Shifty. The way he was stood over the body was, was shifty. For so, sure. Sam, now, Adam is supposed to be in Canada, but yeah. as we saw in the episode last night, he was, he was on the bus, so he was in the area. Yeah, he's ended up in Longsight, which <laughs> is not as glamorous as Toronto. So, uh, <laughs> why he's in Longsight, who knows? We'll find out in due course. But, uh, yeah, put all your money on Adam. And he is, of course, Mike Baldwin's son as well, so a wrong and yeah. wrong Jesus. Uh, yeah, I'll be watching them. And we come to the dark horse here, our lovely Sinead, the innocent factory girl, and our, and our lovely Daniel as well. I mean, Sinead, we saw that she was angry, she mm -hmm. was drunk, she was hammering on the door. Could it be her? I mean, she's drunk, so <laughs> she's angry. There's loads of things that can happen when you're drunk and angry. <laughs> and he's made her get rid of a little baby and called yeah. her a silly factory girl, saying he's trapping, uh, she's trapping Daniel, so he's a bit tight, really. It is, and so she... I could she, see her doing it, 100%. I can see, I can see her turning. I love oh. this, so many suspects oh. are going, the police have got a job on their hand. Oh. And Daniel, this is the long-lost son who has returned, but yeah. again, he's cross at Ken as well, because he's been interfering with his life, he hasn't has, he? Yeah, Daniel's not really aware of how much, though, at this stage, but, yeah, there's been a lot of interference, a lot of uh, Ken trying to correct his own mistakes through Daniel. Yeah, so there's motive there, a lot of motive. 
You bought most of this on yourself. I've got the, I've got the latest odds. Do you want to know who yes. the favourite oh, yeah. is? Yeah. Yeah. Six. Well, actually, I'll do it in third place. Daniel and Sinead, seven to one. Phelan, five to one. Mm. Odds on favourite... Adam. Oh. <laughs> Who do you? Well, what, what, what about if I threw myself down the stairs? Because you'd had enough. <laughs> Your kitchen wasn't finished. She was after money. Yeah, I can yeah. see it, yeah. But no, we don't know, but we've got scripts coming up quite yep. soon where we will find out, so it's going to be really interesting. Well, we're glad to see you in one piece, and uh, we are going to stay glued to the screen. And um, Thank you, guys. Uh, great mystery. Good and, to see you in one piece. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sharon, <laughs> Sharon, just a quick question uh, for, yes. for William. Is it, did he break the kettle? Is the kettle all right. Yes. Um, Phil in the studio would like to know if the kettle's okay. Did you break the kettle? You know you went upstairs with the kettle to yes. make a cup of tea. Yeah. They want to know if the broken? kettle's all right. I don't know. I've lost my memory. He's lost his memory. <laughs> Not going to say. It's Phelan's point. He was taking the kettle up in the first place. If you'd had that kitchen right. and you went on a go See? slow, two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Would yeah. never happen.